Hello everyone, this is Shadi Reis from Sky 2022 from Atlanta. I'm privileged today to have Dr. Susan Barron. She is the Director for Interventional Cardiology Research at Lehi, as well as she is the Sky Win Chair. Susan, thanks for everything you do and thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. So SkyWin has been uh, getting a lot of attention lately and since you took over, there's a lot of changes happen as well. Please talk us through it and how we can get more women into cardiology. Absolutely. Well, you know, first of all, I've been really grateful to Sky for really helping to shine a light um, on bringing more women into the interventional community. I think there's a lot of things that we are doing and a lot more that we have to do. Um, you know, certainly we always talk about the leaky pipeline. Um, we know that, you know, only about you know, 5% of women are interventional cardiologists and we need to figure out how to increase that. And I think it's important for multiple reasons. One, because we know diversity is good. We also know that that's what helps treat our patients. 50% of patients, our cardiac patients are women um, and we need to be able to really appropriately represent them within the interventional cardiology community. I think the other place that need, there needs to be increased representation is in clinical trial leadership because women are uh, are absolutely historically under enrolled in these clinical trials and we know that based on some of the uh, work that's been done particularly by uh, Dr. Lansky um, on sex specific differences in, in some of our uh, interventional treatments for women we need to have more answers so I'm very very appreciative that Sky has been so supportive in trying to help us uh, increase our, our, our representation both in the society as well as in the interventional community so we've got a couple programs going on uh, one of the things that we've started up is a mentorship program um, where we are pairing uh, cardiology fellows as well as interventional cardiology fellows with uh, female role models um, across the country and I think that's a great thing because often there's only one or two people in, in your area much less your hospital uh, who are women and so being able to actually make that community across the nation has been incredible um, we've also been doing some focus on publications uh, just recently we had a, a, a expert consensus document come out looking at sex specific different in my, uh, myocardial revascularization and we are looking to spearhead a couple of more uh, expert consensus statements uh, over the next year or two looking specifically at sex specific differences and I think really to do that is to highlight where we are where we are and what we still need to do. Yeah, so I, I really I want to uh, recap on this point specifically we just have a presentation about NACME and difference in outcome between men and women and there was also still a reduction on lower rate of women going to the cath lab with STEMI and, and COVID. I mean yeah. it's still this issue despite the, all the awareness is still yeah. there and I, I agree with you it's due to the lack of women leadership in these in these communities. Well and I think it also relates too to the education that we need to put out to our female patients. I mean understanding some of the things that you know what we how we need to have our female patients advocate for themselves for them to understand that their their symptoms are more atypical they need to push for that hey could this be cardiac and then also realizing that there's a lot of home care burdens that a lot of women do have to deal with and how can we make it easier for them to get to the hospital advocate for themselves and get into the lab appropriately Absolutely. one of the things i have been watching also the when webinar series that you put together um, it's a routine series so i would like to encourage the audience to watch it especially the female medical student residents. Absolutely. We've been doing this great webinar series looking at a whole range of topics. Um, you know, some has been, you know, having a career as an interventional cardiology woman. Some is, you know, how do you start your own research career or how do you get involved in clinical trials? Um, how do you manage pregnancy uh, in the cath lab? Because these are all things that are important. Um, you know, one of the things we've been really grateful about is that we've had a lot of male support as well. Because I truly believe that this isn't just, this is something that takes a, takes a village. And he for takes, she. He for she. And it takes all of it. And again, I've been so pleased with how much support that we've had um, from the entire interventional community. Well, Dr. Byron, thank you so much for all what you do and uh, on the interventional space as well as on the uh, WIN chapter. Thank you so much for your help. Please watch these videos and others on the Sky TV. This is Shadi Reis from Sky 22 in Atlanta.